Look how delicious this butternut squash is. Made on the Blackstone griddle. Only a, for, it only took a couple minutes. Super easy to make. And it is super delicious. Look at that. Hello and welcome to Griddle Cooking with Chef Sherry Ronning. Do you guys know what to do with butternut squash? There's a simple griddle recipe that I have for you that is a perfect side dish. If you have my cookbook recipes for the Blackstone Griddle, you can, you can go to page 75. Let me see here, 75 and i have the griddle butternut squash recipe for you so that's what we're going to be doing today okay we've got our griddle preheated i have it preheated at medium i'm going to turn it down to low like a medium low low um because this you just you don't want it to it, it's a hard vegetable and you don't want to like cook it too much so that the outside gets burnt and you want to slow cook it so that the inside gets nice and tender and then you have a golden brown crust on the outside. So let's get started making our griddle butternut squash on the Blackstone griddle. We're just going to start with some oil. I'm just using some vegetable oil. I'm going to put down on the griddle and it is preheated already to medium low heat just spread this oil around a little bit so i have my butternut squash i peeled i took the seeds out of it and then i cut it up into small pieces so that's what we're going to be using for this recipe just going to put that right there like that and make sure you want it spread out so that it's an even layer there so now we're going to season it i'm just seasoning it with your favorite seasoning i'm just using a salt and pepper just like that and then we're going to steam cook this so I'm going to be using the um, dome lid on this. So I want to make sure that I can get all of mine in there, underneath there. We're going to steam cook it a little bit to help, help with the cooking. So I'm going to use just a little bit of water in there to steam cook this. So we're just going to go around just like that. Nice sizzle. And we're going to just trap that steam in. And you can go like that. Trap a little bit more of that in. And so I'm just going to let this cook. This is how simple this is. You can do this with other sides. This is an awesome recipe that I like to make with uh, turkey cutlets. And I like to do this kind of during Thanksgiving time. And it also makes a great Thanksgiving dinner. So if you don't want to cook the big turkey, if you're all by yourself or you're only feeding for, you know, a couple people and make turkey cutlets they're really really good they're super easy and you can make sides to go along with it i have the butternut squash you can caramelize the squash if you want and do it that way i have the glazed carrots that i'll do with this uh, there's all kinds of things sides that you can go along with it that make the perfect thanksgiving dinner if you want this or the perfect just fall fall recipe. This is a great side dish to go along with just about anything. I love butternut squash. I loved, love it cooked this way. Super simple. It makes a great side. And you can actually cut it up and do this ahead of time, do the prep work ahead of time. And then when you're ready to cook it, then you can just pull it from the refrigerator and cook it up. And that's how simple this recipe is. So we're just going to let this cook. I'll come back, we'll check it, we'll toss it in just a few minutes and we'll see how it goes. Okay, now that it's been cooking a couple minutes, let's see what it looks like. Give it a quick toss here. Turn 
my mask and we're just going to let it cook some more tell you want to test a little bit to see if it's fork tender and you know that's pretty simple so some different things that you can do with this you can make um glazed butternut squash you can add brown sugar you can add some butter to it if you want to cook it in butter versus oil you can do that you can add cinnamon to it some ground cinnamon you can add some ground nutmeg which will spice it up just a little bit give it more of that fall flavor you can even add pumpkin spice to it if you want you know i'm just saying i'm not judging but you it's pumpkin spice season just around the corner so you can add even pumpkin spice to this super super good and um you know love it Do it just a little bit longer. So our squash has been cooking for a couple minutes and we're gonna try it again just to see how it is. Get one that you wanna get one of the bigger pieces cause you wanna make sure that it's done. It, it looks like it's done because it's already breaking apart. So make sure you don't burn yourself cause it's really, really hot. Mm -hmm. perfect so now you can serve it just like this if you want to put it on a plate serve it you're more than welcome to but you can take i'm going to add just a little bit of butter here to this it's going to add a dollop of butter here and then i'm going to add some seasoning just some some of the cinnamon and a little bit of nutmeg here just like that mm -mm. and i'm going to give it a quick toss and then we're going to pull it it is combine a little bit of that butter in there give it a little bit more flavor just like that And there you go. There is our griddle butternut squash. Super simple, super easy to make. It only took a couple minutes. And this is a perfect side dish for fall, a perfect way to use up your butternut squash if you got it coming out of the garden. And um, I'm going to serve some up here. Just go like that. There you go. There is some Blackstone Griddle Butternut Squash for you. Super easy, super tasty, and it's a perfect fall dish. I hope you enjoy. I hope you make this and let me know how yours turns out. Do you do something different with it? I'd love to hear how you make your, your butternut squash and um, happy griddling. Make sure to subscribe to my page and Follow my recipes. I am now a member of the Blackstone Griddle crew, and I have all kinds of stuff coming out, all kinds of things planned for you guys. And um, I really hope you enjoy this recipe, and I hope you come back again. Bye. And it is super delicious. Look at that. Nice, crispy.